Hi, I'm Mariam. You're welcome to Unravel with Mariam. With me this evening, I have a very beautiful woman, a woman that has inspired many, that has impacted lives, a woman I deeply, deeply root for, a woman I, I, I love to see, I love to be in her presence. I love to benefit from her well of wisdom. And um, I'd love for you to see the side that I know, that I know a lot of you already know. With me this evening is a queen, a philanthropist, a prophetess, a doctor in philosophy, most importantly, a mother, a beautiful woman, Queen Naomi Shilekwola. Am I right? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for being here today. Um, so, Olori, is that okay? Yeah, that's, that's fine. Yeah. That's fine. Anything is fine. Okay, Olori, I'd like to ask a question. Something I really love to ask women that have been able to make um, a beautiful self out of themselves. What advice would you have for your younger self if she was sitting right next to you? Um, I would advise my younger self to be more self-aware mm. uh, because I realized growing uh, that um, self-awareness is very, very important Absolutely. in rising into the full stature of who God has created you to be, in, a, in, in attaining your, your height of purpose. Find out about yourself. You have to know you. Mm. Yes. That's beautiful. So, Olori, as you know, a lot of women are inspired by you. Um, you are a force wherever you go into. So many people tap into your grace and your presence. And I'd like to know, what does being a woman symbolize for you? Hmm. Being a woman, for me, is uh, being a bad place, hmm. a fertile ground, a breeding place, an instrument of worship. Um, the, the very example of beauty and, and comfort, you are, you are, you are, you are like a balm wow. and you are, you are, you are many colors. A wow. woman is filled with several colors. Beautiful. A woman is, <laughs> Beautiful. That's what a woman is. Powerful, a strong force, mm. like the wind, controlling. That's what a woman is. Wow, wow. I am very proud right now to be a woman. And I know most women watching me right now will be absolutely so proud. With the way you have explained and talked about women, I am very proud in this moment to be a woman. I'd like to know, what moves you? What drives you? What makes you, what makes you wake up in the morning and want to be a better version of you? Purpose. Purpose. And I'm a very ambitious woman. Hmm. I want to be anything that I can be. Beautiful. Without walls, without limitations, wow. without without fear. Wow. I can I can be anything that has never been before. Wow, wow, yeah. wow, wow. That's lovely. That's lovely. I love to hear that. I love to hear that. I love to in the journey of being, in the journey of becoming you, how do you think young women should tackle challenges that present them? that come across that, you know, everybody faces one challenge or the other on their cause, on their journey. How do you tackle it? How do you face it? How do you hit it on heads on without, without falling back, falling flat on your face? Um, first, I would say be resilient. Mm -hmm. Secondly, I would say, <laughs> um, this one is going to sound somehow, okay. but be careless. Careless. Hmm. Do not care whose ox is grand. Do not care what's going to happen. Do yes. not just, you know, sometimes your innocence, because when you are growing, there's, there's something that God has given you as a gift, hmm. and that's innocence. Wow. Work on it. Act upon it. Hmm. Because an innocent child does not know what danger lies ahead. Oh, beautiful. So fear is that thing that stops a lot of women halfway. So on your journey to becoming, allow your innocent step in. It chases away fear. Because then you don't know what danger lies ahead. Oh, oh my God. You see what I said? It's always beautiful being in her presence. So many gems, so many beautiful words, so many inspiring moments. And um, it's been really um, lovely spending this evening with you. 
Uh, there are so many things that I've learned just in the few minutes that we've been together. So many things I've learned even behind the camera, you know. <laughs> and I really love to, to share this moment with other women, to peak, to learn, to be mentored, to be inspired by this beautiful woman. You can be whatever you want to be. She said it. Be careless. Just take that leap of faith without actually, don't think about the barriers. Thinking about the challenges will stop you. Just as she said in summary, go for it. Be afraid to do it. And the sky is only the beginning. Thank you so much for being with me right now. Thank you for being on Unraveling with Mariam. We hope to sit down to have a longer, we know you're very busy, but we hope to get to have another moment with you where we'll have endless, endless conversations. Yeah. Thank you so much, Olori. God Thank bless you. Thank you. It's a pleasure. <laughs> is there anything you have to say to your fans out there? There are so many people that love you. Um, to my fans, I would say I love you, love you so much, more than you would ever know, except we get to meet someday or sometime. I love you, God bless you, keep being you, keep being strong and keep hanging in there for me, for you and for everyone. Thank you. Thank you, Laurie. <laughs>